Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to decrypt and sideload iOS, iPhone, iPad apps on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Air 2020 with the M1 chip. And one of the issues that people have been facing is that they can't sideload apps after they've upgraded to macOS 11.3 onwards. And this is going to be a solution. So the very first thing you're going to need is an iPhone that has been jailbroken. So you can see this one here. I've jailbroken my, my phone here. This is an iPhone 8. And uh, this has been successfully jailbroken. Make sure that you have a fully jailbroken phone before you can continue because this is part of the decrypting process. You cannot sideload an app that is signed and encrypted. You have to decrypt it first. So this is going to be a guide on how to do that. The other thing is that I'm going to be keeping notes about the steps because it's a very complex set of steps. So I'm going to leave a link to the Apple Gaming Wiki website which has got instructions on here. And uh, this is probably going to be modified in the future. So if you have trouble following any of the steps in this guide, then you can just refer to this text guide and this will give you all of the information that you need. This is very likely to be updated after I record this video. So please check it out and leave a link to that in the description. So the first thing is we have our jailbroken phone. The next thing is that we need to go to Cydia and then install Frida. In order to install Frida server on the phone, we need to add this build.frida.re. So I've already done it here, but all you need to do is to tap on the edit uh, source here. So there's the top right hand side of the screen and we click add. And then we just type in frida.build.re. So I already have this build here. So all I have to do is tap on that. I can see all packages here and I have installed Frida here. So that's kind of the essential thing. So once Frida is installed and we still have our phone connected to the Mac, then we need to do the next step, which is to install Homebrew. So if you haven't installed Homebrew before, we just go to the brew.sh website, which I've linked to in the article. And then we're going to open up Terminal. So we're going to click on the top right hand side, open Terminal here. All we have to do is copy and paste this command into the Terminal. I'm just going to do that and I'm just going to type in my password and it's telling us uh, all the nice things it's going to do which is to basically install all the dependencies we need so just let that roll so if you're like me and you accidentally clear the screen after homebrew has installed you actually have to enter this last command to actually enter the path so I'm going to copy and paste this into here so that the path is set properly and when we press brew now it's going to give us the brew commands there so the next thing I'm going to do is install python so I'm going to copy and paste the brew install python command and we're going to install python so this is going to download python from the internet just wait for that to finish as well and we'll be able to move on to the next step now we're going to install Frida, so I'm going to use this command pip3 install Frida. This is using Python 3 to install it. We'll just wait for that to, to download as well. Okay, good. So now that's downloaded, we need to get the Frida code from GitHub. So I'm just going to leave a link to this in the description as well as on this article. So I'm just going to click get code and then download zip. So we're going to control and open dump.py using text edit. We want to make some changes to dump.py so that the code can see the phone itself. So basically we're going to change the local host. So if I, on my phone, if I tap the I button, I'll get the uh, IP address of the phone. So I'm going to change local host to phone. 68.107, so that's that number here. And then we're also going to change the port to 22. If I just press file and save, that will now save nicely. Uh, I've still got my phone connected. What I'm going to do now is basically initiate that code. So if I change my directory to downloads, and then if I look inside the folder, if I change it to Frida iOS dump master, so now I'm in the actual folder itself, I can now initiate this dump.py uh, file that I've modified and it should see my phone. So if I type in now python3 dump.py, then the command here is a dash L, that's this one here. If I type that now, then that should give me a bunch of dependencies which I'm missing. So I need to install all of these. So if you type in now pip3, this python3 uh, install paramico. Okay, so once that's installed, uh, I think we have probably more dependencies. I'll press the up arrow on the keyboard to get to the last um, command, the python3 dump.py-l. What other dependencies are we missing? SCP. So we're going to type in pip3 install SCP. Let that install too. I'm going to press up again and up again. So going back to python3 dump.py, we need to install tqdm. So pip3 install tqdm. Okay, so that's up again until we get to our command. 
Okay, great. So that command has basically listed every single app that we have on the phone. So we can see now that the Mac is communicating with the phone just fine. Um, and uh, what I want to do is to actually decrypt an application which uh, we cannot sideload on this M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So that means that the developer has opted out of sideloading. And uh, the one I'm really interested in is Genshin Impact. So we're going to take the next command here, which is python3 dump.py, and uh, we're going to initiate Genshin Impact here. So I'm going to copy in, well, I think you can actually type in the words Genshin Impact. That's the name according to the device. And uh, I'm just going to show you what happens on the phone too. So I'm going to press enter on terminal, and then it's started Genshin Impact up. These um, IPAs can only be decrypted while the app is open, and it's quite a clever way that they're doing this. They're basically reconstructing the app uh, as you have opened it on your phone. And because the phone's jailbroken, we have access to the full data of the decrypted device. So you can see here, this is generating the Genshin Impact IPA. So just let that finish. So once this has completed, we'll have a decrypted IPA file here. So if I go back into my Frida folder in my downloads folder, I'll have a Genshin Impact IPA. So we have the IPA here, and if we double click on it, you'll see that this is trying to install, but because it's not been signed, we can't install it properly. Um, technically it's decrypted, but because it's not signed, it won't run on this M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So we need to find a way to sign it. And actually this decrypted IPA you can use on jailbroken phones too. We're just gonna need to use a method of sideloading onto the actual M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the article. So this is slide loadly. And uh, basically we want to download the macOS download of this. And basically what this will do is take a decrypted app and then allow us to actually sign it on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm going to open up slide loadly here and we're going to control click and open. So I'm just going to bypass this security issue and open up in security and privacy. This uh, side loadly will allow us to sign apps. So we want to select a device to actually side load onto. We want to side load onto this Apple Silicon Mac. And then we want to actually type in a, an iCloud account. So technically, I think that you should use a dummy account. So just go ahead and create a dummy account. You can do so just by starting a new email address and then signing into um, your iCloud.com and it will uh, create a new account for you. Just figure out a way to open a new Apple ID. Another way is if you just go into system preferences, go to users, and then you just make a new user here. And then when you log into that user, you have the option of creating a new iCloud account. So uh, you can use an iCloud.com account from there. I would use that here. So I'm gonna use mine. And then we're going to pull in the IPA file and start. So I'm gonna type in my Apple ID password. Okay, so that says it's done. Let's check the applications folder. Yep, Genshin Impact has arrived. Let's open it up and test it out. So we'll just check what this is exactly. Yeah, this is the Apple Silicon application. So I'm gonna enable the security settings here to allow this app. Open anyway, open here. Fantastic. So it looks like we can successfully open the app. So the side loading portion of this is working fine, but with this particular game, Genshin Impact, it's giving me some kind of data error message. So I'm not exactly sure what this is, uh, but I will try to investigate if anyone else can successfully side this and get a game working too on Genshin Impact please leave a comment. This is pretty much as far as I'm probably gonna go unless I can figure out another fix for this. So this is the, uh, the error message that I'm getting. I'm not quite sure why this is happening. And I'll leave a link in the description for the article I've been working on that contains all the steps to get to this stage. Uh, and if anyone figures out this particular fix for Genshin Impact, please let me know. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.